Figma has officially bought a AI company called Diagram. And I'm sure you've seen these viral videos where somebody types up text and in Figma, it gets converted into a design. Diagram is responsible for some of the biggest AI updates in the design field as of last year. And they've introduced five AI updates that would be coming very soon on stage at their config event. I made a video a couple of months ago predicting this exact change and it has happened. The first one that they've announced on stage was a bunch of sticky notes on screen. All these sticky notes were selected and with a click of this unique magical button on the top right kind of looks like the notion AI button. It converts all this random data and information on screen into a nice little notes format basically made a moments of your meeting. If you had a brainstorming session, it's basically giving you the ability to document things out of raw data, out of random notes or sticky notes or whatever into organized information. The next one is I'm super impressed by. I'll have to break this down to you in detail. This is something that they're calling recommendations for design. And this recommendation feature will literally add a custom UI design element to your existing UI design based on what you are looking out for. So in this example behind me, you can see there is this artist page and under this artist page, we have given a title of albums and this AI automatically generates an album card for us. So basically an entire UI section it is created just by looking at the title of that section. Not only that, if you notice has been designed in the same style as our entire design has been created. So it's using the same fonts that your design system uses, the similar style and UI aesthetic that your app already has. Another cool part of this feature is that it shows you multiple options on top. As you can see, there's three options it has given you. And out of these recommendations, you choose one UI, which you can then later on edit on your own. Apart from this, whenever you select a component, which has been created by AI, you can then further highlight it and edit it manually or edit it using AI. So you can tell the AI, Hey, I don't like this. Can you change this? Or you can even ask it to fill it with new information. So here it's filling it with new album art, new album title, etc., based on your own prompt. So this large feature has so many small features inbuilt and you just have to look at it carefully to find it and see it. Overall, I think this recommendation could save us hours and give us various versions of our own designs as well. Now this next feature will be very useful for developers and designers both. Visual Studio Code is a platform a lot of developers already use and Figma has an official plugin for Visual Studio Code. Now, whenever a developer will look at your designs, first one being that whenever a developer selects an element, they can literally convert that element into a code format instantly using AI. And by clicking this little magical button on top, it gives the developers context based options. The developer will be able to automatically create new components, find similar designs or similar files. AI will be able to scan different things on screen and allow developers to navigate your design files easily and also build code using AI based on your designs. Now the fourth feature is very unique because some of the founders of Diagram came on stage and explained this at the Figma config event. Magician will literally allow you to create custom icons, add custom AI built text, as well as images, illustrations, etc., based on prompts. And they also did hint a little bit on automation side of things. So a little bit of automation might also come to Figma where certain things you can just right click and it will do something for you automatically. So a good example of this would be to name your elements or design elements on screen, which designers like us are very lazy to do. We just right click and it will, and using AI's magic, it's going to name all the elements just by looking at it. So if a element looks like a button, we'll name it button one, or button two, things like that. Now, last but not the least, they on stage once again had an entire segment on this. And that really intrigues me, a design assistant in Figma. Now, Diagram was working on something called Genius, which was never launched to the world. It was teased, it was showcased as a trailer. 
but it never came out for people to try out. In this feature, you get a AI based design companion while you are designing. This little guy named Genius will pop into your design as a collaborator of sorts. And while you are designing, quietly along with you, help you in your designs. So if you've designed a box, it can resize it to make the box into a proper card. It might, it might even add labels to buttons and inputs, etc. while you are designing these things. So there is a companion mode in Figma coming very soon where a companion called Genius will sit with you and based on actual artificial intelligence, design with you. So it is helping you along with you. So it gives you the feeling of having a design team while you are a lone designer or a single designer. They're, they're also introducing something called an assistant, which will come soon to Figma again. The assistant is going to literally answer questions. So if you're a design beginner and you don't know how to use Figma, you can ask it, hey, how do I do this, this, this in Figma? And it will give you proper instructions on how to do it live there. As if a teacher or a mentor like me was teaching you live. Apart from that, you can ask it design-based, UX design-based questions, research-based questions, any questions you put into the chat box, it will chat with you. And I would like to know your thoughts on these five features and which one are you most excited for in the comments below. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and I will see you every week, same time, same place. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, take care. God bless.